Hey guys, what's going on? This is Reggie. So, went to Vegas and I had a good time. You know, it was it was cool. It was alright. Um, did a lot of stuff. Uh, it was you know I, I wish it was a better experience because of being Vegas, but really wasn't that good. So anyway, so I did the top three things that I liked about Vegas. Now let's do the top five things I hate about Vegas. Yeah, it's five. It's uh, it's not three. It's five. So let's let's just start with it. The first one, okay? The first one, the hobos. Yeah, I'm serious, man. Freaking hell, dude. There's so many hobos in Vegas. Now I know every city, every uh, uh, place has hobos. I get it. But Vegas is like a place that attracts. Um, tourists and people from all over the world not just all over the country all over the world but when you have these hobos everywhere man it, it kind of makes the city look bad you know it's like really can, you know can't you help these guys can't you have some kind of homeless shelters or something like some place to take care of these guys or do something about the, the, all the homeless people out there it's just, it's crazy, man. It's just, it gets out of control. So everywhere, you know, we saw homeless people all over the place. And this was on the Strip. We even went past the Strip and it was even more homeless people. So homeless people all over the place. Uh, the second thing, the cigarettes and the, and the weed. Jesus Christ, man. Fuck. Like, come on with the weed and the cigarettes. Anywhere you go, on the strip, out the strip, everywhere, everybody's smoking fucking weed. And, and I personally hate the smell of weed. I've, I've always hated it. It's just, it's not, it's not a smell I like. It's just, I don't know, it's just, it's really nasty to me, the smell of it. Ugh. Okay, anyway, um, so that's bad. And then, then these guys fucking puff everywhere, so it goes all over the place. And then the people that don't smell weed are now smoking cigarettes. Well, always smoking cigarettes. And these fuckers don't give a shit about people. I'm gonna make another video about this, but they'll just start fucking like cigs all over the place, smoking all in people's faces. Nobody gives a shit or anything. It's it's worse than the hobo thing that I talked about. It really is like smoking and fucking weed and all that shit. It's just it's ridiculous, man. Like you know. Again, people come from all over the world. We don't have time for that bullshit, man. We don't wanna, we didn't come here to smell fucking weed and cigarette smoke. We came here to enjoy the experience. But that's all we get is fucking it's weed and cigarettes all over the place. Because people have to smoke that shit every time, every place. Anyway, the third one. The third one is the ghetto ass people. Good God, man, I felt like I was gonna get robbed all over the place. Every time I went to a bus stop, every time I went to a stop, every time I was walking uh, anywhere, especially at night, don't fucking walk at nighttime, even though that's the best time to go check out all the events. It's like, fuck, man, like, am I about to get robbed? Am I, like, what the fuck is happening? Ghetto ass people, like, they look like they're about to mug you any, any second. Uh, and no, this is not a specific race or color or anything. This is ghetto people in general, okay? Every type. Um, it's just, it's bad, man. Like, and just the, the feel of like, oh shit, I'm about to get robbed or something. Now, they robbed me, no. They didn't, thank God. Not me or my wife. But you get that feeling because they're eyeing you, you know? They know you're a fucking tourist. You probably got money or something else. Ah, uh, I don't know, man. We, we were always just kind of scared. Like, fuck, I'm about to get robbed. So... That was something. The number four, the played out shows. And, and this is what I mean by that, right? So when we went to the magic show, I forget his name, David something. When we saw his show, you could clearly tell this guy was done. Like he didn't give a shit about his show. He hated his life kind of a deal. You could tell he wasn't happy about doing the show. He just, he was miserable. Um, and I get it, if you're doing that show so many times, you are also, you don't want to do that kind of crap, right? So I get it. So, may, they need to change things up. These people that don't want to do their shows, fucking let them go, man. They, it's, it was depressing seeing that my, my magic show. It really was. Um, and then the other shows that I've been to that have been running for so long, again, same thing. There's only so many times people can do that until they get burned out. And I think that's what's happening, is these people do it once, twice a day, seven days a week. They gotta get burned out, come on. That's just asking for it. And finally, number five. There's nothing in Vegas that pops for me. 
like this is personally me it's just if I was single maybe getting over, going over there to get laid to get some ass you know maybe then I guess if, uh, if I was into gambling maybe gambling but besides that it doesn't pop it doesn't have that wow factor that I was hoping for for me and wife like we just don't see it so so for us it's just all like I don't know like once here okay twice okay three times okay that's enough like we're done we don't have anything else to go check out so that was the fifth one so anyway so those are my top five reasons that I really don't like Vegas I mean I think this was our third and final trip to Vegas I don't really see any reason to go back unless they do a massive change or something to it um, so yeah so anyway uh, like the video if you liked it. Hope you liked it. Comment below. What are your things that you dislike about Vegas? Like seriously, what do you what do you not like about Vegas? I know people have got a lot of things that you people don't like about Vegas. So post them down below. Tell me what you think. Do you agree with my uh, top five? Yeah, do you disagree? Let me know. Um, make sure to subscribe and like. Um, and yeah, and I will see you on the next one. Peace. And it is Sunday.